In this example, we're going to look at compound inequalities in a special case where the solution turns out to be all real numbers. This only happens in an OR conjunction. Okay, so we start this by going ahead and solving each inequality separately. So the left one, subtract 3 from both sides. We get negative 4x is less than or equal to 40. Divide by negative 4 on both sides. Dividing by negative flips the direction of the inequality, so it's now a greater than or equal to negative 10. On the other side, we want to subtract 7 from both sides, leaving us with negative 8x is greater than negative 40. And divide both sides by negative 8. And we get x now is less than positive 5. Okay, so we go and we begin looking at the graph. We start by putting in some of the key numbers on the graph. So here is negative 10, and here is 5. Let's go ahead and do each of them above the number line first to get a better picture of what it's going to actually look like. So greater than or equal to negative 10 will be a closed dot, and to the right, and less than 5 will be an open circle, and to the left. Now, when we think about the overall graph, since it's an OR situation, we're looking at where there is at least one line. We don't need both lines, we just need one line. So we can look, for instance, here there's one line, good. Here there's one line, here there's at least one line. There are two lines, but that's still at least one. Here is one, here is one, over here is one. And that arrow goes on forever. So in both directions, everywhere we try, there are um, at least one of the lines exists. Even here where this open dot is, might be throwing some students off, still the above line exists there. So everywhere on this number line, there is a value. So what should we shade on the number line? Everything. So we're going to go ahead and kind of just embolden the number line with a big arrow in both directions. And we do want to have a conclusion to this one that the solution to this is all real numbers. And if you care to know, there is a symbol for that. It looks kind of like the paragraph symbol, only it's an R. That is the all real numbers symbol.